Hey everyone. Welcome to Excel Jams. Today we are going to talk about six super amazing tips for data validation. Data validation for text. Now here we will be restricting a user to enter any value in the city code which is not a text. Now before we start, first we need to understand what is a text in Excel. Now anything which is alphabet or alphanumeric is considered as text. For an example, ABC is a text and when I add numerics with ABC, that is ABC12, that is also a text. But when I enter 1 2 3, three numbers, so these are not text. Now I want to restrict my user to enter only a text in my city code. Now here's a quick tip before jumping into the data validation tab always try your formula in the excel sheet now here i'll use a simple function is text and select my cell and press enter now this has given me false now when i enter here a b c it will give me true similarly when i enter here some alphabets with some numeric code it is again true and when i put here a number let's say 987 now this should give me false Now this means my formula is working. Now what I'm going to do is I'll copy this formula, select my range, go to data tab, data validation. Now here I will select custom and paste my formula here and press enter. Now let's see if this is working. Now here I am entering 1 2 3 which is again a number and not text and it should give me an error. When I press enter, this has given me error and it has given me an error. and when i enter something a b c or 7 8 9 a combination press enter it should not give me an error so this is how you can restrict your user from entering random values now the tip number 2 is i want to restrict my user from entering a value which is higher than my previous value for an example here i have three students which scored rank 1 2 and 3 and i want to enter marks now it is quite obvious that the rank 3 will have the lower marks than rank 2 let's say for an example rank 3 score 70 marks now i want to restrict my user to enter any value lower than 70 against second rank and rank 1 now how i am going to do this is i'll put here a formula which is the marks against rank 2 should be greater than rank 3 So this has given me false since this is blank and it is considered as zero. Now I'm entering here 90 and this should give me true. And similarly when I enter here 65 it will turn into false. Now I'll again copy this formula, select my range where I want to apply this data validation, go to data, data validation, again custom since I am entering a custom formula, control V and press enter. Now when I enter here 76 it has not given me any error now let's change this to something which is less than 70 let's say 56 so this has given me an error similarly when i enter here any value less than 76 let's say 72 so it should give me an error and it has given me an error tip number 3 here we will restrict our user to enter the duplicate entries for an example here i have a few names and i want to enter unique ids against each name that means each person has a unique single id which cannot be used against another person now what i will do is i will use the function of count if so i'll select this range where i want to apply this formula and i will freeze my range since i do not want excel to change my selection when i copy paste this formula and i will select cell one and i am not freezing this and press enter now this means let's put an id here let's say i have put 5 6 7 8 9 here so this has given me one this means in this complete range which we had freezed this number is existing only once and this is what we want we do not want this entry to be repeated again now let's add some few numbers here now i'll copy this first id again below and this has given me true this means that this number is occurring twice now what i will do is i will copy paste this formula select my range again go to data data validation custom 
and copy paste my formula now here i am adding is equal to 1 now why i have added is equal to 1 because i want the result to be exactly 1 now i'll press ok now let's see what happens now i'm entering a few entries now let's copy paste any id which we have previously entered let's say 876 and press enter now this has given me an error it means 876 has already been used once tip number four text beginning with specific character here we want our invoice numbers to start from capitals e c and hyphen that means our first three letters or alphabets of my invoice number are fixed they are constant and the rest number can change now i want to restrict my user to enter any random values in my invoice number what i'll do is i'll use the left function i'll select my cell comma three since my first three digits or alphabets are fixed so i'll use left so this has given me e c and my hyphen now what i'll add is i want i want this to be exactly ec hyphen so i'll add a function exact of left should be e c and so this has given me true now when i drag this down here it is true and when i change this to r let's say this has given me false this means our function is doing well so we'll copy this formula select our range once again go to data data validation custom and paste our formula and press ok now let's try this formula again i'm copying the previous entry and i'm changing this c to e and press enter i got my error and it worked now another amazing tip is accepting dates by the day of the week now this is very helpful if you are working with hr or admin especially now here i have a few employee ids and i am trying to make their leave records now here it is quite obvious that the leave date cannot be saturday and sunday since these are week offs but it can be saturday if it is a six day work but here in this example we are considering that saturdays and sundays are week offs so my this date should exactly be between monday to friday now to do this we will use a function of week day of this date i want this to be two now you will see various options from 1 to 17 here now i am putting 2 what this means is that i want my week to start from monday that means monday will be my first day and sunday will be my seventh day of the week so i am entering it as 2 if i put it as 1 sunday will be day 1 and saturday will be day 7 and i want this result to be less than 6 that means i want this date to be somewhere between 1 to day 5 that is monday to friday for better understanding i have mentioned here few days the day code we have used i have put monday as day 1 so saturday is my day 6 now now less than 6 means my date has to fall somewhere between 1 to 5 that is monday to friday now let's try this date 22nd which is sunday 22nd of august this has given me false now when i enter a date let's say wednesday which is 25 this has given me true now this is going to give me true when i enter any date between 1 to 5 since it is less than 6 now let's copy this formula select my range again go to data data validation custom and i'll paste my formula here press ok now let's revise our dates i'll put here 27 which is like friday so it is okay so when i'm entering here let's say saturday which is 28th it has given me an error so this is how this weekday function works and is helpful in lot many ways now the last tip is where i want to limit my values to get a specific number like here i know the total units sold cannot be more than 100 for these five products 
no i do not want the sum of these five values to exceed my total so let's put a formula here now here i'll use the function of sum i want my this sum i'm freezing this range since this is fixed should be less than 100 what i'll do is i'll copy this again select my range go to data data validation custom and press ok now let's enter some random values 24, 26, 87 and it has given me error since I the sum of these three numbers will exceed 100 now let's change this to 20 20 and copy this down exactly 100 this has not given me any error now let me try and change this to 30 it has given me an error now these are the six tips which will definitely increase your efficiency at work and saves a lot of time now i hope you find this helpful and try these super amazing tips please don't forget to like share and comment this video thank you for watching